When the first Murano arrived on the scene back in 2003, its cutting-edge design helped catapult the burgeoning crossover segment. Five years later, and these unibody car-slash-SUV fusions are everywhere. And so, with the all-new 09 Murano, Nissan looks to continue their leadership in the small crossover group which now contains dozens of competitors. One area where Nissan wins in my book is in their avant-garde approach to styling. You don't see creations as artistic as this coming out of Honda or Toyota. Nissan takes risks when it comes to penning the bodies, and most of the time, like here in the Murano, they come out winning. Unlike most next-generation anythings, the Murano didn't get all bloated for 09. The 111-inch wheelbase remains the same, and the rest of the exterior dimensions see only small increases. But I was shocked to see the stats on the passenger and cargo volume, which are both down slightly, despite my perceived newfound airiness to the overall cabin. To me, this Murano just seems more spacious and comfortable than before. Perhaps the increased use of glass to let in more light is to thank for the Mirage. My tester arrived as the luxurious Murano LE, a new trim level for 09 and available only with all-wheel drive. It gets all of the goodies, including 20-inch wheels, roof rails with silver accents, rain-sensing front wipers, HID headlights, an 11-speaker Bose audio system, XM sat radio, iPod connector, a 7-inch color vehicle information display, intelligent key with push-button ignition, Bluetooth, front and rear leather heated seats with driver's memory system, a driver's seat with power lumbar and a power passenger seat, power tilt telescoping heated steering wheel, auto dimming rear view mirror with compass and home link, a power lift gate, rear view monitor, wood grain trim, a foldable cargo organizer, and an anti-theft alarm. MSRP is $36,655 and mine has one option, the rear DVD for $1,600, bringing the total to $38,255. Getting all of that into a crossover for under 40000 seems pretty good to me, especially when you consider how confidently it goes about its business, like it's been doing this crossover thing for years. Nissan has the nooks and crannies down inside with all of the right moves for the urban air and runner. The familiar 3.5-liter V6 gets 25 additional horses this year, now making 265, and it's a Nissan, so you know it's going to have a CBT a second-generation unit that seems more transparent in its operation, though strangely enough feels like it's almost holding back the engine's full capabilities, perhaps because this is the heaviest Murano of the bunch. Riding on a new Altima-derived platform with speed-sensitive steering and fully independent suspension, the Murano feels tight and inspires confidence. 18 MPG City and 23 MPG Highway on recommended premium gas is 1 MPG better than before, for the 09 Murano, the sequel is even better than the original. For drive time on MyRide.com, I'm Steve Hammes.